Lighthouse in Leeds is a community for those who are battered and bruised by the storms of life. Storms which include struggles with addiction, mental health crisis, effects of childhood trauma and homelessness. Lighthouse provides a Christ-shaped pastoral support as well as creating a community of people who are a family, united in Christ. Here is Reverend John Swales to tell us more. Hi, my name's Connor and I'm with... I'm John. Yeah. So, John, I've got a couple of questions to ask you. Yeah, thanks, Connor. How did Lighthouse begin? Oh, how did Lighthouse begin? Well, we go back to um, autumn, winter 2013. It was a small group of us thought we would love to see a Christian community for those battered and bruised by the storms of life. Jesus really loves those who are going through the storms of life, so why don't we have a, a church which is for them? So we went to the crypt, North of England's largest homeless shelter, and we said, can we start running church here on a Sunday? And they said, yes, we've been praying for this for years. And uh, yes, yeah, so in January 2014, we launched and there was about 30 of us that first week. And, well, it's just been a real roller coaster since. And what kind of activities are involved at the Lighthouse? During the COVID-19 pandemic, we started doing day centre provision. And that's where we realised that for some people at Lighthouse, the end goal isn't living independently in paid employment. For some people, that's great. But for many people, it's not. But that doesn't mean people can't have lives with dignity, meaning and purpose. So the aim of the day centre is to provide good things for people to do. Um, so over the last year or so, we've had cookery classes, knitting, people go in the gym, arts and crafts, urban photography, gardening. We've had day trips to, uh, uh, to the seaside, to Bolton Abbey. We've done overnight retreats. Uh, cinema trips, go-karting, going to the farm, and all these activities are there so that we can be together as a family, doing things that are really wholesome and good. And to be honest, this is a little bit selfish, they're a right laugh as well. Just good being out with the family, having a good time. Every Friday, our Lighthouse Warden Phil takes some of the Lighthouse Brothers to the Horsforth Community Shed. Recently, activities have involved making candlestick holders, cooking utensils and bird houses to take home with them. This is a great partnership to have and a wonderful project with a skilled and friendly team. So here we are on a Friday afternoon at the Men's Shed in Horsforth and a few of the house guys are just doing woodwork and just making different things, making spatulas, making bird tables, making boxes, making shelves. So we'll just go around the room and see what they're doing. Owen, right, just want to show us what you've done so far. There you go, so he's put that out of wood and he's just doing the finer details now. So he can take that home and use it for his cooking. Here's Paul looking all official in his lab coat. <laughs> so he's just marking out a, a design for a spatula. Uh, sand it down and he'll take it over and he'll be using it for his cooking. And it, for the fried eggs. The fried eggs. <laughs> How do you doing, Mark? enjoying it? I am, yeah. Totally different from what I've done since school. Okay. And what are you making? A spatula for cooking. Tell us your spatula. Yeah, for cooking. I can eat my takeaway with it. <laughs> Our favourite thing about Lighthouse is making friends. Lighthouse is wonderful, it's beautiful, it's nice, happy. We all love our brothers and sisters and staff. The days that were good last year and Lisa 
Beat me a golf cart by 10 seconds. Family feeling. Friendship, community, and a sense of community and faith in God, which is building every day. Uh, I'm Connor. Um, I've been quite a lighthouse for two weeks. I'm um, just going to tell you a bit of my story. Um, when I was six years old, I got sexually abused um, to the age of 12. Um, that started my life turning upside down, turning to alcohol, a bit of drugs. Um, I came off the drugs about five years ago, um, but alcohol was still bad for me. Um, went to prison a couple of times over alcohol. But while in prison, I got close to my faith and then got introduced to Lighthouse. And since I've been going to the lighthouse, the lighthouse has really helped me to see who I am and to believe in myself and not go down the wrong path no more and go down the right path. St George's Crypt have been supporting the homeless in Leeds for 92 years. It used to function as a crypt, a place of death, but is now a place of life, provision and care for the homeless, the vulnerable and those suffering with addiction. At Lighthouse we have the privilege of partnering with St George's Crypt and running a weekly communion service in the dining room. One of our Lighthouse brothers, Andrew, is going to tell us more. Hi, I'm Andrew. I uh, volunteer at the Crypt. This is the dining area where a lot of people come together and socialise, eat, have food, drink. Um, if you look over here, this is where they used to store dead bodies back in the day. So as you can see, it's a big transformation from that to this. A large part of the week involves learning from the Bible and praying together. Once a week we run healing workshops where we express our thoughts and our prayers in different creative ways. Through these activities we seek to bring healing to our hearts through prayer and reading the Bible. Amen. Lighthouse, we love to make our church services accessible and engaging so our brothers and sisters can learn more about Jesus. One way we do this is by acting out the Bible stories. We believe that this brings the words to life and helps us to remember the Bible message. the joy of worshipping together multiple times a week through both Christian worship music and secular songs. We often use musical instruments to express our worship as well as singing and reflecting on the lyrics. One of our favourite songs to sing together is You've Got a Friend because we believe that we have a friend in Jesus who we can call upon in times of need. 